Uh, Ebony, how excited are you to be able to play soccer in college? I'm really excited. I mean, it's been a dream since I was little, and I've always wanted to go D1, but as I got older, I realized there was like a lot more things that come with it, and I realized it was better fit for me to go D2, because I feel like I'm going to be more, a lot more comfortable. So. What was it about East Stroudsburg that you liked and thought that would be a good fit? Um, mostly like the campus and how welcoming the girls were like the whole team just seemed very nice to me and the coaches seemed like they were very interested into me um, I visited other schools before but they didn't really feel right like how ESU did um, also like my brother went there so when I was little I visited before so it was kind of just like it felt like home to me yeah. um, division two is really competitive yeah. how much are you looking forward to that challenge I'm really excited I feel like it's gonna be really like a really good challenge for me I've been through other challenges before but um, it's the next step in my life I'm looking forward to and I can't wait to see what happens when did you first start playing soccer and what do you love about the sport I first started playing when I was four um, and I love like the the teammates that come with it like the bonds you build as you go on and move forward and like you just learn a lot of things um, you have a really high GPA uh, how important are academics in your life very important um, I'm actually I might get a um, academic like scholarship type thing if I get my GP up to 3.8 or higher it, I don't know how exactly it works yet, but it's something like that. So it's really important to me. And you're pretty close now, right? Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Who's been the driving force uh, to push you both academically and athletically? Definitely my mom. She has been on me throughout this, all of this. She's done a lot of things for me. Things that I wouldn't even think I'd be able to do. Like where I'm at right now, I would not have been with, here without her. So. Do you appreciate her a lot more now, yes, knowing where, where you're going? Honestly, I don't even think I would be like committed to college right now if it wasn't for her. I probably would have still been looking and stuff, but she has definitely been a big factor in my life. What, what would you say to younger students in the Reading School District who may not think they could play sports in college or may not even think they could go to yeah. college in general? Um, I say don't like don't doubt yourself because there's a lot of people in this world like who are gonna speak negative on you and like hate you and stuff but I feel like you just have to be in your own little space and world and just keep moving forward with your life and like you know keep working on what you want to work on uh, who have been some of your favorite teachers or some of your favorite subjects here at Reading um teachers definitely miss Dysart oh, she's funny um and subjects I would say math I'm pretty good at math yeah uh, what do you like to do just for fun? I like to hang out with my friends. I sometimes just go train for fun, like play soccer with my friends. Um, but that's pretty much it, just hang out. Yeah. No video games? I used to, but not that much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I like to be out more now. Like I was, I was very like anti-social before, but I've kind of came out my bubble a lot this year, so yeah. I'm getting into like hanging out outside more. Um, let's talk music for a second here. If you could get tickets to any concert, who would you want to go see? Definitely Tyler the Creator or Steve Lacey. Okay. Yeah. Now, I've been really bad with my World Cup picks. <laughs> have you been following <laughs> it at have. all and who do you think is going to win? At first, I, was v I had very high hopes for Brazil, but they ended up losing today in PKs. So I'm going to go for Argentina. I feel like they have a pretty good chance, but it's like all really close to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate your time and uh, best of luck in college. Thank you.